During the visit to the harbor, articulated trucks were seen packed in four lines along the road in the layout, leaving a very narrow space for moving vehicles. Also observed was a very dirty environment with feces and refuse littered all over the road. Shanties were also seen springing up in very large numbers in the area, which residents allege were being used by criminals to perpetrate crimes. The Transport Commissioner, Mr. Kafo, who described the ugly incident as totally unacceptable, said the layout was well planned with very wide and strongly built roads to accommodate the anticipated heavy-duty trucks that convey products and raw materials to and from the industries and not to serve as parking lot. He revealed that the visit was directed by Governor Willie Obiano because of the negative security reports coming as a result of the activities of the truck drivers, adding that government has made plans to relocate all the articulated trucks to the Onisha Urban Transport Terminal located at Opaiweka in two weeks' time when the terminal must have been completed. What I saw here is unacceptable, completely unacceptable. Uh, this is a harbor estate and were planned by fiscal planning board. You can see that the size of the truck, yeah, the width is very, very large. And you know, Anambra State is the safest state in Nigeria. And we can never and cannot compromise on that security. So because of the security ch challenges we are now having here, His Excellency Governor Willie Bernard directed that we we'll come here and sit in for ourselves, and we've seen it. And what we saw here is an eyesore, and we are coming back to sanitize the, this, this place as we did at our nature men market and all those places the chairman of the state fiscal planning board barista chike madwekwe said reorganizing the fiscal space of the state to reflect that of a well-planned state is a major charge on the board by the governor and the incidents around the harbor if unchecked have the capacity to undermine government's plans to build a secure and environmentally sustainable state governor gave us a charge that Anambra should be one of the best planned states in the world. The governor does not play with security. So this is an imperative that we must carry out. Like the Honorable Commissioner has said, in the next one or two weeks, we must clean up this place. Some residents and operators of industries in the harbor, Baristo Keo Bikeze, Mr. Selo Kofo and Mr. Ben Ohia, who regretted that 80% of the trucks have no business with the industries in the harbor, said their presence have not only led to increase in crime and criminality, but also has very negative health and environmental implications for the people. They appealed to government to immediately come to their aid and relocate the trucks to guarantee their safety and access to their homes and industries, as the trucks most times block the entrance to their buildings. The commission and the fiscal planning board chairman later proceeded to inspect work on the Onisha Urban Transport Terminal. At the site, it was observed that the terminal is at about 75% completion stage, as the entire 200 by 180 meter land space has been fully paved with concrete and the major borehole completed with finishing touches being put on a modern toilet facility at the terminal. The facility, which is the product of a memorandum of understanding between Anambra State Government, the Trazi Group and Urban Transport Terminal Limited, signed last year, is expected to have sections for various types of vehicles and will also have a 72-room hotel for travelers. With the floodlight also being installed, the terminal is designed to run 24 hours, according to the terminal manager, Sir Michael Lezani, from Onisha. I am Kene Chukwo Forma, reporting for ABS News.